Hey everybody, welcome to the Kyle Bobcast. I'll be your host, Kyle Bob. It's the Kyle Bob. is the host He is not yet a ghost Unless you're watching this I mean listening to this in the future Then he might be if it's far enough into the future Cause everybody dies sometime, time, time, time I just try to make I just rhymed effect with effects. You can't rhyme the same word with a plural version of itself that doesn't make sense. It's the Kyle Bobcast, you know. You ever make a weird noise and you think to yourself, maybe I'm the first. I'm the first person place or thing to ever make that particular noise you ever think about that well my friends that is something to think about Let's talk about Phil Collins He said he could feel it coming in the air that night But did it ever come? Seems he kind of just lost focus and started playing drums That song could use a sequel A lot of songs could really Remember that one-hit wonder band, Simple Minds? No? They did that one song. It was called Don't You Forget About Me They should make a sequel to that song called You Guys didn't you hear what I said? No. Oh. I don't know how to spell that last word in the thing, but it's important that it's included. And by thing, I meant song, title. I don't know why I was so vague in that first part, and I don't know why I'm still talking about it. Anyway, song sequels, yeah. Britney Spears could have a song called Oops, I did it a third time And what universe would be complete without a sequel to The Macarena We could call it The Macarena and Cheese we could start a whole new dancing disease, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. You know, wildebeest is a weird word. It's like wild beast, but both wild and beast are spelled wrong isn't that quirky isn't that a quirky little thing that is a thing speaking of quirky let's talk about pokemon i was thinking i'd be worried about being in the pokemon world because i don't know which things would be pokemon and which things would just be animals because there are still animals you like you can catch pokemon with a pokeball but like animals you throw a pokeball at the animal and then it just causes a bruise and then you feel bad
Do fish have butts? I mean, they got, you know, they got the anus, but do they have butts? That was the first song I ever wrote on banjo. Giving myself a pat on the back for that one. Triple pat. What do you call a type of flatbread? Neatly cut into a shape with nine sides. Anonagon. <laughs> Will this forced pun be enough to sell 100,000 flatbreads per month? There's only one way to find that out. Shipping out the Anonagons. Shipping them to every grocery store Hoping that they'll be Begging us for more It's non no gone bread Every app claims to give you The same thing An all new experience Right at your fingertips. Why is everybody always trying to get at my fingertips? That's one of the most sensitive parts of the human body. Don't touch me there. I think it'd be nice to be a super villain because they're always laughing at stuff for no real reason. Someone will be like, Sir. The blueprints are ready. And they'll be like, ha, 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 ha. That's, that's not funny. But what a, what, a, what a positive person. Just press a button. It's the funniest thing in the world. Like a big baby. I'm going to press this button. Beep. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. Button pressing. Beep, beep, boop. German cats have no lives. Nine. <laughs> what do you call, what do you call it when the pizza guy slips on your porch and has to go to the hospital? Miss Stepperoni. Whenever I do laundry, I wash my clothes on the cool setting. And I don't know if people have caught on yet, but... <laughs> Stupid! I got an idea for a movie called End Shrink. It's a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids spinoff starring NSYNC. And shrink. Oh yeah. At one point they literally get stuck in a sink. And sink in the sink. That's all I have for the idea so far, but this will be good for in sync whenever they decide they want to make a comeback. I think that mystery airheads would be a good idea for a band name because they're a real thing but also it'd be like whoa they're psychedelic or whatever I don't know got a kitty cat that's kind of like Pikachu zigzag tail he won't act meek with you 
He'll hiss and he'll fight And he'll scratch and he'll bite If you don't respect him If you don't treat him right Ziggy Wakes me up every day At seven in the morning Ask him why did I leave I didn't give him Don't lick the, don't lick cloth, Ziggy. You're gonna, you don't, don't eat the cloth. Ziggy's eating the cloth again. He eats weird things. He eats cloth. He eats dust. He's odd. Ziggy, don't bite the, don't bite the cat tree. Ah, it's a tree, not a treat. Yeah, Ziggy. Doesn't that look a little too big to be edible? Ziggy, you're a goofus poofus. There you are. All right, everybody, thanks for listening to the Kyle Bobcast. As a grand finale, I'm going to be crinkling up this bag, and it's going to be a song. You ready for this? Yeah. Uh. All right. Tonight, we're going to go to KFC, get ourselves some chicken, the double down. If they still sell that. Remember that with the two pieces of chicken for the bread parts? All right, that was the Kyle Bobcast, and I hope you enjoyed that finale because I'm sure no one really did. Good night, everybody.